back to another video. Welcome if you're new. My name is Erica. Today is my first video of Vlogtober 2023. So I've mentioned in a few videos that I was thinking about doing Vlogtober. I have done it several for the last several years to do Vlogtober and the 12 days of Vlogmas. I really enjoy it, but as I've said a lot of times this year, life's a little bit, it's a different season right now, keeping my granddaughter, taking, I'm also taking um, care of my mom in a lot of ways. And it's funny when your kids get older, you think you're gonna have more free time, but then you have, you know, aging parents and then grandkids come along and I am so blessed and so grateful for my life, but it's still busy, <laughs> it's still very busy. So that's a stage of life that I'm in, dealing with aging parents, and also grandchildren and I also still have one child living at home so life is busy but I'm gonna do my best to get up more videos I can't commit to Monday through Friday like I usually do in vlogtober but I am going to commit to do more videos so currently I'm doing two videos a week and so I'm trying to do at least three hopefully I can get more than that it just depends also vlogtober tends to be kind of the same content when you're vlogging every day you kind of have the same content but there's a group of you that really enjoy that same content and watching the same things and then there's a group of you that don't enjoy that so I don't want it to be too too repetitive but it, obviously it will I'm the kind of person who enjoys the repetitive content I like things to be scheduled I like to know what to expect when I go to someone's channel so you know to try and also not do too much of the same content I'm not gonna do five days a week just um, Monday through Friday I'll just be doing whatever it's gonna be weekdays weekends I can't tell you right now when those videos are gonna go up but I will tell you that I will commit to doing more videos for vlogtober because I think it'll be fun I really enjoy vlogtober and sharing all the fun you know fall activities and recipes and a couple I was trying to think how can I make it a little bit more exciting this year and so I am going to share at least one recipe in every video whether it's a new to me recipe whether it's a tried and true recipe and it might be a dessert or it might be an actual dinner I don't know it's just gonna vary but I do have a list of recipes that I'm going to share so every video in vlogtober there will be a recipe and I thought it'd be fun to share in every Vlogtober video just a random YouTube channel that I enjoy watching. I have shared before lists of like my favorite. So if I've shared them before, most likely won't share them again. There's the same ones that I've watched for five, six years now. Um, you know, I've mentioned them before many times, but I thought I'd share with you some that I currently right now really and am enjoying today's channel today's shout out i will link her down below but she is the sweetest mama i love her she's definitely in a younger stage of life than me uh, she's got four kids like i do her youngest is named jackson like mine and i just think that marie is the sweetest sweetest most genuine mama she's she just shares real life content if you like my channel you will love her channel and if you're a younger mom than me, go check her out. You've probably already heard of her, but her channel's called Marie Love Asbury. She just has, she just keeps such a pretty home and she's such a good mama and her content is just so refreshing. And also because I'm a YouTuber, I appreciate like the time that she puts into producing her videos, filming them, editing them. She just does such a great job and I think she's in her early thirties and she's just, you know a real a real mama sharing real life and you will love her so go check her out she posts mondays and wednesdays generally and as soon as that video comes out i make time to watch it um i am wearing my pumpkin shirt that i showed you i bought this iron on from timu for like less than two dollars and then i got this shirt at hobby lobby so i thought today would be fun to do a try on haul some of the clothes that i have been picking up for the last month or so and i didn't want to share anything that i couldn't actually link down below for you if it's something you're interested in so i'm going to do the very best i can to link everything i have it's only they're only from two three three places i have some from timu some from sam's and then some from hobby lobby that i well and then the iron-ons that i got from either amazon or timu so i'll share all that with you that'd be really fun just to show you some of the cute fall clothes that i have picked up this year and if you're interested you know you can maybe go check them out but i'll link as many as i'm able to down in the description box sometimes uh they're sold out and you can't link them but i'll do the best i can i'm gonna try to do this in my dining room 
there's not really a great place to do a try on haul for you but I'm gonna do it right here um this is just the t-shirt the that I got from Hobby Lobby this is a medium I think it's a unisex it's just it's not the comfort colors it's one of the cheaper ones but I'll link the t-shirt down below I'll also link the little iron on down below but this whole t-shirt I think was like less than with this and everything was I think was less than 10 Anyway, it's so cute, pumpkin season. I love it. I'm just wearing some black leggings with it. So this is great for around the house. I love to wear long sleeve t-shirts this time of year when it's not really cold yet, but it's like today, I think the high is like 68 and it's nice outside. It's chilly, but it's not like freezing cold. So this long sleeve, t sleeve t shirt is perfect for this kind of weather. All right, so this is an iron on that I got on Amazon, but I've seen the exact uh, set on Timu. I paid $10 and I think I got five or six different iron ons. So I thought that one was so cute. And then I bought this is the comfort colors sweatshirt from Hobby Lobby. I got a large so it would be oversized and I can wear it with leggings. So this one was also in that set. And it just says mama 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 i thought it was so cute with all the different colors i got a large in this one too just makes them a little bit longer a little bit more oversized i love the white you can feel their sweatshirts um, when you're in the store and these are just the much better quality hobby lobby is where i like to go to get my t-shirts and sweatshirts for my cricut projects or for these these uh iron-ons that i find online so this is another iron-on transfer i got from timu it says have a good day and it's that in that cute retro font that is super popular right now and i just bought this sweatshirt at i think gabe's for like 6.99 i love how it's got like the cut right here and um it's super soft but i just bought it because it, hobby lobby doesn't really have pink and i wanted a pink one so and this was super cheap super cheap so i also look at goodwill for sweatshirts or t-shirts that are in good condition that i can use to you know make something with so but i just loved this i think it was under two dollars i will link this this graphic down below can't link the shirt so this is a plaid shirt that i got from timu um, i was really excited about this shirt because i like that it had this like flare at the bottom but it's too it's way too big down here i'm going to see if i can take my sewing machine and just kind of take those take that in a little bit it's it's just too wide for me but i thought it was so cute it's different than just a regular plaid button up and I love the orange and blue on it. It's really pretty. It's good quality. Um, so I decided to keep it instead of sending it back because I think I can fix that. But just be advised. <laughs> All right, so next is this shacket, I guess. Um, I've never had a shacket before. But I was looking everywhere. I have been looking everywhere in stores and online for affordable flannels and this one shackets are not cheap like they're like 30 something dollars just at walmart so i also got another one at sam's that i'm gonna show you that i'm in love with but this one i don't know if it's necessarily considered a shacket or it's just a shirt but it's pretty thick and i'm obsessed with green but i'm always drawn to the green and when i saw this i was like i hope that will work i hope that will fit so um i love the way that it fits i want to say that this was 10 or 11 dollars no more than that but i like how it's long right here so it covers in the back this will be perfect for like the pumpkin patch or a day like today even because it's actually a little chilly but i can uh, button it up if i want or leave it unbuttoned either way i love it i'm actually really surprised i was going to put my hands there's no pockets i'm really surprised at the quality of this like it's really good quality okay so while we're talking about shackets this is an actual shacket i the other one was thinner this one's definitely thicker but i got this at sam's club so if you have a sam's i tend to think that sam's clothes run a little bit big but i don't know maybe it just depends on what you're getting but this one i did get in a small so and it's still plenty big so i think this one was 16.99 i will link it down below hopefully they still have it hopefully they have it in your store they also had this in like a baby blue and white but this pink i just was like oh my gosh it's pink and it's so inexpensive and it fits so great so i had to grab it and i can also button this if i want to it's not um too tight to button it or i can leave it open whatever i whatever i want but i loved this pink shacket so this is a sweater that my mom actually got me this on timu she got it for my birthday and i was like i'm going to show that in my in my uh fall haul oh, because it's so cute it's so perfect for fall i can wear this with a dress like to church or obviously with leggings because it is so long and it's like soft and the perfect not too thick not too thin and i know you're not really supposed to wear white 
after Labor Day, but I love white and I think it's so pretty. This would be great with just around the house or like I said, I can wear it with a dress to church. I love this. I don't know how much she paid for it, but I will link it in the description box. Okay, so this is one of my favorite outfits that I found. It's the reason I'm kind of jumping around from store to store is because I'm trying to do as least the least amount of changing as possible. So trying to do them in order so that I can, you know, change the pants with the shirt and all that. So this is a out I'll Scoot back, I'll show you these pants closer up, but the pants are from Timu. This is just a t-shirt I have, and then the jacket is from Sam's. This is a denim jacket. They have it in dark wash and light wash, and I got this in a small because this jacket is amazing, y'all. I have looked so long for a denim jacket, but they are so restricting, like you can't move your arms. This one has spandex in it, so it is so stretchy. It does not even feel like I'm wearing a denim jacket, and I have never found one that was like this. And so I actually bought the medium and brought it home and I was like, that's too big. Like I needed to get the small. It like stuck out and I was trying to not get it too small because I didn't want to feel restricted, but I do not at all. It's so stretchy. I love the stretch in it. And then I got these pants on Timu. I very rarely buy pants online. So when I do dry on hauls, you'll generally see dresses and tops because I am just really picky about the way the pants fit. But I have these in white. And I knew that they fit. I knew the, I loved the way they fit. So they have the little like leopard print, I guess leopard, whatever it is, um, in black. And then I got these in the olive green, but I have the white as well. But in the picture, they showed someone wearing um, a white t-shirt with a denim jacket. And I thought it was the cutest outfit. So I wanted to recreate that outfit. And I love it. It is so cute. And they have this really, really long drawstring, not drawstring, well it is a drawstring, uh, tie right here that I think kind of dresses it up a little because it's like thick and you know just adorable. I just think this is the cutest and I can wear these with my other ones as well but I don't normally buy this color but I really loved them and since I already had the one pair and I knew I loved the way they fit I got these. They also have them in like a black and a charcoal gray a couple other colors, but now I have two and I truly love them. They have a little cuff on the bottom. Like these are, I feel like I'm wearing pajamas. All right, so you knew I would have to show you a mama shirt at some point in this try on haul, right? <laughs> um, I was like, I don't need any more mama sweatshirts. And then I saw this at Sam's and I said, I need that. I actually didn't buy it, but I went back and bought it. And it's funny, Danielle went back and bought the same shirt like the same day I did. Um, but it, I got it in a medium. I wanted it to, I wanted to wear it with jeans. And I just fell in love with the color and it is super, super soft on the inside. This is so comfortable, so cozy. And I loved the font. I think it's really cute with jeans. Obviously, if you wanted to get like an oversized and wear it with leggings, you could do that. They had all the way up to, they had from like extra small up to extra, extra large or something. They had a lot. So uh, check out your Sam's if you like this shirt. All right, I thought that this shirt was so pretty. I don't know if it's necessarily fall, <laughs> fall but I won't wear it in the summer. Um, it does have really sheer sleeve so this time of year it would probably be good you know was not too cold but um definitely not for the winter either but i thought i would still stick it in this haul i got this on timu and i did not button it's got like buttons in the back on at the top i did not button them they were just a pain so um this i think is so pretty i think it is so pretty <laughs> the only thing is it's like a it's like you can hear it's like a loud material i don't know when i wash it if that will like soften but I got, the, I think I got this in a large and the bottom piece of it has, well, the whole thing, both layers have zero stretch. So if you buy this, make sure you get the right size, zero stretch. It has this like ruching right here and then the, the overlay with the little dots on it and then on the sleeve as well with the ruching here and then the ruching around here. And I just think it is so pretty. I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm undecided about this, but it was only $8. So instead of sending it back, I kept it and like the shirt I showed you before. I think I can do some altering and I like it. They have it in multiple colors. I got black, but I ordered it in a large because I needed it to fit here, but it is really, really large. So it's hard to see, but um, the legs are really wide, which is fine, which I like, but I think what I might do is take the side seams and then just take it in a couple inches all the way down so it would be more you know, it would fit better. Um, it's gonna be a pain, but it was super inexpensive. It's got pockets also, and so if I sew the seams on the side, I don't know if I can keep the pockets. It's also adjustable up here, and 
you know, it doesn't get more comfortable than this, honestly. I also got another jumper that I'll show you. It's really cute. It needs to be ironed, but it's really cute. I think it fits a little bit better than this one. All right, so no, I am not pregnant. I am 49 years old, <laughs> but uh, these jumpers, you know, they're just not real flattering. They kind of make us all look like we're pregnant, but they're so comfy. They're so comfy. So this one obviously needs to be ironed, but I think it's so cute. I think it has so much <laughs> potential. Now, will I be brave enough to wear it out? I don't know. I don't know, but I think it is really pretty. It's got really wide legs on it, like the um, black one, actually. Let me aim you down a little bit. It's got the really wide legs, which is really in right now. It's just not, you know, what I'm used to, but I just thought I was gonna go out on a limb and get this. I think it was like 11 or 12 bucks. The pockets, oddly, are way up here. Um, and then it has this, you know, pooch. So if you're pregnant, you know, this is also a great buy for you as well but it was so inexpensive like you could buy it when you're pregnant and still wear it afterwards but they had this in multiple colors and i picked this because it's kind of different for me this like tan color everything's gonna be linked down below i don't know about you but i love a good try on haul like i literally look for try on hauls from people and i love to watch all sizes all styles i just think they're so fun to watch my style obviously super comfy i'm gonna if i'm not comfortable i'm not gonna wear it so i mean that's just the honest truth so got a lot of comfy clothes i'm gonna be cozy this fall i hope that you enjoyed this little try on haul make sure to check the description box if you're interested in anything okay this is the aftermath of my try on haul got to put all that away make my bed but someone's cozy in the bed and someone's cozy down here too my sweet claire bear she's still with us but i gotta get all this cleaned up get my bed made and it is almost time to go get jackson from school so i gotta hurry i'm also gonna put my pumpkin season shirt back on i also think it's a good time to go through that go through some of those make sure that there's nothing in here that i just want to i always have a bag or box in my closet that is for goodwill that is like where I just throw things in. So I'm gonna go through them. Hey, sweet Care Bear. You're not coming in my closet, you'll get stuck. <laughs> um, yeah, I always have a bag going. So I'm gonna go through some of these. See if there's anything I'm ready to get rid of. that's kind of a ridiculous amount of clothes but that's literally what I wear all all fall and all winter it's sweaters sweatshirts jackets and also like lighter cardigans to wear to church so that's all of them I rather fold them and put them up there than hang them because they get the you know clothes hanger marks on them so and then I don't have I have dresses here and then just a few hanging up shirts. I don't have much that hangs, mostly it folds. So that's a lot, but I do, I haven't decided if I'm gonna hang that or not. Um, I do wanna give all of these away. So those will go in my donate pile. Also, I had bought this from Timu and I thought, 
I personally thought it was the cutest. I love this color and it's got the cutest little pumpkin on it. It just did not fit me. It's a medium. It fit me in the top, but then in the waist, it was like super tight. So, but how cute is that? I think it's sold out now, but I'm just going to go ahead and donate that because I think I got a deal like they, it was like just three or four dollars. So I didn't send it back. I will pass it on. Someone else hopefully can enjoy it. to go get Jackson real quick but I wanted to show you this I got this at Goodwill was three I think it was $3.99 but I don't know where it came from that's what the that's what the thing looks like it's the cutest thing ever I'm gonna paint the the back of it white so that because it sits right here I, I don't want it to show that but um, it's got the dates on it I need to change this because today is actually the 27th but I always wanted one of these and never had one <laughs> and has the little bars down here with all the different months. I just thought that was the cutest thing for $4 and I really love having it. Now I can change it. When I remember to change it, can always know the date, but maybe when I get home tonight, I will paint the back of that white. Okay, so the recipe that I'm gonna be sharing with you today is called, which I have mentioned it a few times in my grocery hauls if you've seen them, and my meal plans, it's chicken, twice stuffed baked potatoes, and my neighbors are outside being loud. Um, you can make them, you can do twice baked potatoes where you bake the potatoes, scoop out the center, mix everything and put it back in. Or you can just do baked potatoes and chop them up and mix it together with your chicken and everything. I've done it both ways, it's delicious, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole twice stuffed baked potatoes today. So to bake my potatoes, I just preheated my oven to 350. I'm gonna wash the potatoes and then I just put them on a pan with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pop them in the oven for at least an hour. And we're gonna cook some chicken in a little while and it's so good with onion and bell pepper cut up. That just gives it such good flavor. Then when you mix everything together, you're gonna put cheese on top and you bake it. It is so good. It's kind of a lot of steps, kind of a lot of work, but so, so, so good and so worth it. I'm just gonna pan fry some chicken. I have about one and a half pounds of chicken cutlets. And then I'm gonna add salt, pepper, and garlic powder. That's probably it. And then I'll chop them up in small pieces. And I also will add about one small onion and a bell pepper. And just cook that together with the chicken and let them get a little soft. And then all that is gonna be mixed together with the inside of the potatoes with some salt and pepper and butter. And then I'm gonna to top it all with cheese.
so I just added salt, pepper, butter, and I just kind of chopped these up a little bit. I don't want them to be mashed potatoes, that's for sure. They're gonna have big chunks of potato, and then we're gonna add the chicken and the vegetables. So I went ahead and salt, salted and peppered this layer too. It's good to salt and pepper each layer. It just makes it taste better. So I'm just gonna let these vegetables cook down a little bit before I add them to the potatoes. Oh yeah, look at that. Yum. Oh, it's kind of a lot of steps, but it's definitely worth it when you bite into that. That is so delicious and I feel like it's got the meat, the potatoes, the veggies, everything all in one, the cheese, so you don't really have to make anything else with it. Of course, if you want to make like a salad or something, that would be healthy. I'm going to just clean up, the, clean up the couch a little bit before, while I let that food cool. Marion and Jackson aren't here, so we're just going to let it cool for a little while. to vacuum but I'm gonna do that later when I can put the dogs in my bedroom because you just get some too, too round, wound up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this real quick. I just grabbed some craft paint we had downstairs. I'll probably have to put a few coats on it but I might as well get it started. I love the roof. It's black.
I'm sure that's gonna need two coats or three coats, but it'll look a lot better when it's done. I tried to scrape the tags off with my little scraper, but it, it had just had just put in a new blade, so it was just tearing the wood up on the back. So I just figured I'd paint over it. But I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these out. I'm the only one home right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat. I'm not gonna wait. <laughs> um, but I will type out the recipe down below if you have any questions about anything. I think I, I took it out at 25 minutes and it was perfect. So thank you for hanging out today. Remember to check the description box for any of the clothes. If you're interested in any of those, I will do my best to uh, link them all down there. But also more videos coming this week for Vlogtober. So be looking for those. I want to let you know that I plan on during Vlogtober at least uploading at 6 p.m. every day that I upload. So if you don't see a 6 p.m. video, that means there won't be one that day. Um, sometimes I will try to give you a heads up over on Instagram or maybe in the community tab. I know a lot of people will do that. They'll post in the community tab that a video is going live that day. So let me know if that's something that you all would be interested in. I've just never done that. It doesn't, to me, it just seems kind of repetitive, but it also probably gets people excited and lets them know to come back and watch. And so let me know. Let me know what you think, if that's something that you want me to start doing. So anyway, if you don't see anything by 6 p.m., then that means no upload that day, but I will do my best. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in my next one.